What's up again, YouTube? This is Hidden Angel Lionheart coming to you live from the frickin'... Well, okay. Screw it. Frickin' bedroom with the laser lights going on because, well, I'm lazed. Okay, I can't, I can't think how to say that straight enough. Anyway, um, oh, joke of the day. What do you not tell a gay guy? To not drive straight. <laughs> okay, no, no, no puns intended. I was just trying to make a joke there. Anyway, um, we are live on Seth, and, um, this is actually going to be a very interesting video, might I add, and it's going to be a tutorial video of how to be a better knight. Yes, I, you heard me, to be a better knight. Now, exactly how are you to be a better knight? Well, let me explain. First off, I'm going to show you guys and update you. Right now, Sephra is at 298,000 battle rating, and I just now today got my level 80 axe weapon, and I cannot forge it into a tire 280s, which would be, um, uh, excuse me, in equipment, there's advanced 80s. And it cannot be advanced until it is wholly forged to a level 2 grade of 10 stars. And after that, I'm going to need 300 Titan Fragments and Stone Fragments. But I already have like 1,200 saved up. So, no, not 1,200, but I think like 1,000. So I'm able to make like 3 or 4 parts to the set already. However, I don't have everything I need yet. And after that... I'm just have to, gonna be working on the red set, but for some reason this thing is glitched, so I'm not even able to, like, even craft it because um I know this is completely irrelevant to the video, but I'm just showing you guys on my phone here. You see, it's got all this uh, bull crap, and I was only able to forge it because I had my tablet, so. Luckily, the tablet helps, so I don't know if it's some type of glitch in the game or whatever. So, um, yeah. Okay, anyway, main topic to the video is how to be a better knight. So, for right now, um, we're going to have to, well, of course, starting out, you're going to have to know your skill set. So, right now, I'm on DPS. Okay, I need to get rid of that second Delphic and put in shield. Or actually, I need to take out that. Uh, actually, take out that. Put in the shield. Take out the other Delvic. Then add in a whirlwind. Now we're set. All right. When you're starting out in the game, you're gonna want to set out of certain skills because you always start out with slasher. If you're a knight, you start out with slasher. If you're a mage, you start out with lightning bolt. If you're a <coughs> ew archer. Uh, you start out with a single shot skill. So anyway, they progress later on and the main skills you, the main five you want to focus around, excluding the level 80 advanced skill, you want to go into, um, slasher, ultimate slasher, um, delphic, uh, shield and then into whirlwind those are the five main skills you want to focus around however you must increase your passives and each of the passive skills affect your tune in a certain way like the heart of rage passive increases my rage by 10 by each action step plus the axe I have gives 10 extra so that's 20 additional rage actually I take that back You'd be getting 45 rage, I think, if memory serves me right. No, wait, you'd be getting 25 rage because of slasher, passive, and the axe. So, knights are highly well known for being rage, excuse my language, rage whores. So, um, <laughs> people don't really like knights that much because they are highly well known for gaining crap tons of rage. Because I think the order goes is best to least is may or not mage, knight, 
Mage, and Archer. And Mage actually starts out with, um, crap, trying to think. They gain 8 Rage from the Lightning Bolt, and then 10 additional Rage from a full gear set until the, you get the level 80 weapon, you get the plus 10 Rage regardless. And the reason why Archer sucks is because they only get their additional Rage by critical hits. So it's kind of redundant, or just really redundant for archers. I don't know if that's the right word. It's either redundant or completely stupid until they have their level 80 bow and every class gets plus 10 additional rage. However, knights are the only class with the passive skill to gain 10 more rage, I think. I'm not going to swear to it, but however, I know the class well enough to know it is probably the only one that gets this much rage. Anyway. Uh, then later on, when you get to like level 58, you are going to want to max out into Enhanced Delphic Destroyer. Now, Enhanced Delphic Destroyer is the t tier 2 to, er, to Delphic Destroyer, and this one deals the most damage, considering 405% plus 765 physical damage to a single target with a 30% chance to gain plus 30 range. And an additional, since you're gaining like plus 20 ray, 25 rage as it is, or 20 rage, because you're going to be using rage as it is, you get that plus the 20, you have a solid set of 50 rage already, but that's the 30% chance. And you have the Q, the QTE damage plus 25% and you always want to do the QTE. If you guys see the videos with me on my mage, um, where I'm sliding the the bar from one number to another connecting to the numbered patterns you are that's pretty much the QTE d percentage effect and each QTE affects different um different skills and different attacks like for mage the one QTE for Santoria is um you get the Q the QTE set off and you pretty much get an extra wait why am i talking about mages that's going to be for the period video okay scratch all that scratch everything you heard about mages that's completely irrelevant to this video anyway for knights you solidly want to work on slasher ultimate slasher delphic destroyer shield and whirlwind ignore getting enhanced delphic destroyer early because all that does is screw you over because, one, you're not going to have a very effective attack, and two, it takes too much rage. And unless you have the additional, like, bonuses and stuff to help you gain more rage, do not get Enhanced Delphic Destroyer if you're just starting out and you're still trying to understand the game, because it's, 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 it's an eyesore on you. It makes you look really bad. If you can't perform a certain Delphic to the point where you don't even have enough rage to do it. And, um, Delphic Destroyer is just 80 rage, but that's your start now. Delphic, and honestly, in my opinion, this is probably the better one for everybody that's now start for starting out at nights until you're 58. And, um, when you're going to 58, you never want to get Enhanced Block unless you're wanting to build a knight with Block Astrals. Now, um, yeah, trying to think here um anyway and also you highly want to work on maxing out your passive skills along with because all or, okay i'm skipping I'm like advancement skills those are completely irrelevant until you're level 80 and honestly don't rush for 80 because 80 just kind of screws you up and um and i learned that the hard way um <laughs> anyway um i say i'm a lot anyway um, then yeah, there I go again. Anyway, do not do enhanced block. Do not do this passive because it screws you up also. And that takes you all the way to 64 to get, um, EDD pretty much maxed out for its requirements. And however, you want the main five for main five talents, which are slasher, ultimate slasher, delphic destroyer, DD, and... Agron Shield and Whirlwind those are the main five skills you want to always work on when you're starting out as a knight along with the first three passives 
part of rage, combat master, because combat master increases your physical attack percentage stats by 5% each time. Because it's maxed out at 3, so of course it, it makes sense. 5, 10, and 15, and that affects your battle rating. Also, you always want to get Define Blessing. You want to max that out and Combat Master as quick as possible. Because those are the two things that also help increase your stats. <coughs> Ow, got a, something stuck in my throat. And, uh, no jokes, guys, because I know what's going through your head right now. Anyway, um, and I'm straight. Anyway, um, and Divine Blessing also affects your health. And starting out, you get, like, 10% bonus in health and defenses and receiving healing effects like if you're being he healed by a certain rune like healing rune stone or healed by a mage you get additional health to yourself because well knights are just awesome like that ha <laughs> ha anyway and um the maximum you get physical defense and max health increasement Max capacity of 20% each. 20% in defense, health, <coughs> and receiving healing. As in received healing, what you're getting, as I just explained. Anyway, so those are the main skills, because everybody... I swear this makes me mad. To an... No, no... To no end, this makes me so mad when I see people use this as a knight. But I can't really criticize on that because when I first started out at night, I kind of sucked because I screwed up my skills a whole lot because I thought they were good until I started using them. I'm like, oh, I, I kind of screwed myself here. Um, <laughs> so mainly, you want to stick with those five because people I will see using Shadow Thrasher and Reverse Damage and then they'll just go into all these other talents which also screws you a whole lot because um it basically is taking away all of your strength capabilities because you want the nut you want the certain skill maxed out so it gets the full damage percentage of what you're gonna get when you're like maxed out level and i honestly don't know what the highest title level rating is for a knight or anyway um Master Dragon Swordsman or something. I can't remember what the maximum level percentage is. I just don't... I haven't kept track of it. I could probably look it up or you guys could look it up and find out on Google. Because Google has everything. <laughs> or just go to Dolly Games. Because they also have every piece of information you'd want to know. So, um... There's that. So, that's pretty much goes into all the skills. Oh, and don't use intercept because that skill is just completely pointless and um i know this skill pretty much is the hate towards many people because it kills people's rage and it's just not that good and all it's really good for is deducting rage in pvp or arena fights and it's honestly not that good considering how fast and quick people can regenerate their rage even after They've got their gears all set up and so forth. And plus, if they have the clothing, that gives them additional rage like mine does on both Seth and Puri. Um, it's kind of... Re it's pointless to use intercepts, so I never use that skill. If somebody does it, well, good for you. But since you're a knight, it is really redundant to even use intercept. So that, that explains the... Um, stuff so forth who is messaging me oh okay oh okay that was when my friend nico actually was on and um i think that's my other fr buddy karn as i jokingly call him karen because of it it was kind of an inside joke between him and me um, he is actually an art, uh, archer, ick, eh. anyway, um, such, such taboo, and it, okay, that doesn't make any sense at any point whatsoever, so anyway, he's, he's, he's cool, he's cool, can't talk crap on him, but I can talk crap on the archer class, <laughs> okay, so anyway,
that explains the skills. Now, gem setup, and this is one thing that really peeves me off so much. When I see people, okay, the ideal gem setup is pretty much going to be physical attack, health block, and defensive astrals. Now, you don't really want to work on your block unless you're going to be a hardcore blocking person with, unless you understand what the block does for knights, and that's why I said do not use block unless you're going to use it, because it's really not that used much unless you're in 50s or 60s, and if you're in 50s, you would probably have to sacrifice one of the defense astrals for it, however... If you have Refined Goddess Blessing, it pretty much makes up for the defense because it increases by a percentage, as I've explained to you guys in several other videos. I think one video I did explain to you guys the percentage effects. Um, but anyway, the ideal setup for Knight actually is Physical Attack Gem, Health Gem, Block Gems, and Defense Gems. Now you want to... And also Critical Gems. And you want to... Even these out as best as you can, and you always, always, no exceptions. You want the physical attack ash or physical attack gem as your highest. So, as you can see, I got the maximum in or level eight gems and level seven gems, solidly in like one level nine gem. So I'm happy with that achievement. But I've got solid level eight and seven gems. The ones that are like multiple gems looking are level 7s and the, and the big brighter one is the level 8. And the one on my axe is the level 9. So gems are very crucial and here's another thing. When I see people putting magic attack gems and charisma gems on a knight, I really just want to sit back and just slam my head into a wall because of how stupid you screwed your tune. And they're even using magic attack astrals, physical attack astrals on a knight, and just, oh, cancer. This person is cancer. Like, that is just really terrible for me to say. But dude, dude, it. you are sucking with how you build your knight. And I try to explain and tell people about this, and usually they'll get an attitude with me because I'm trying to help you out. Or make a suggestion. On another note, people making suggestions and then like kicking you out of a guild because you made a comment about something. You just kind of made a suggestion. The person's like, uh, get out of our guild. I don't like you. We don't like you, but I'm not saying that because they do. I'm just saying because I don't like you. Moving on. Um, <clears throat> also, here are your critical gems. You only want like two or four critical gems. For right now, I have just two critical gems on my knight until I can get the... This is going to be taking me months, if not a few years, knowingly a few years, to um, get um, um, dual gems to the point where it shares one trait with another trait. Like, okay, I'm going to show you guys what... a. a um, for those who do or do not know what these type of gems are, they are fusion gems, a dual attribute gems, pretty much. And each of them are different to the point where it's physical attack plus physical defense, and the highest it can go is 12, to where it has 585 attack and defense, and it take and it comes from a 780 level 12 gems. Now, it, getting those gems are going to take me a crap long time that. Oh, frick no. Are you serious? Moving on before I literally lose my crap. Um, <clears throat> and as you can see, they have all kinds of different types. And this is the one I was talking about, physical attack and critical. This is the main gem you'd want to look out for when you're a knight. So that way you can proceed with building your stats but however 
when you make a fusion gem, you're able to socket the solid physical attack and critical gem along with that. So that's pretty much a double whammy bonus for you. So you want to plan that smart and not stupid. Just going to say because some people have a habit of being very stupid with how they build their gems and tunes. As I explained, magic attack gems and charisma gems, those are both stupid. Especially for a physical tune like knights and archers. Ew. Ick. Yeah. Archers. Um, so yeah. This pretty much explains the gem setup in the ideal wise. However, if you are honestly just starting out and um, you just want to use physical attack, health, and magic and physical defense gems... As it even says in the thing where the question mark icon is, it even tells you the recommended gems to socket for warriors, aka knights, which are physical attack and defense gems, magic defense gem, and a health gem. Those are the ideal ones, and when you go into 50, or actually when you go into like level 30 or 40, you want to go... Do not do critical, because it will screw you up, and you will suck. And it's really hard to build a critical knight at such a low level. And the main astral you want to have on is Enhanced Roll Destroyer. And it gains 5% additional damage always. It always hits with the percentage bonus. There is no ands, ifs, or buts. It will deal 5% additional damage damage increased to your normal attack so the max level is 10 percent is actually no level 10 so 10 times 5 would be 50 percent so you'd have 50 percent additional damage added on to what you are already dealing with the skill and your actual gems etc etc and gear so, Enhanced EWD or Enhanced Will Destroyer, etc, etc, is the best astral for a level 50 knight in mage. And every t So, always do that. Do not do critical, because critical will screw you up as a knight for a level 50 until you get to, like, level 70 or 80. And plus, you don't ever want to build a critical knight tune, because, as I said, it's really hard, and it's just not a it, it really is not a good idea so unless um you have what you need that is, which is very hard unless you're a hardcore casher and you can actually pull it off which you can unfortunately then don't freaking do it and you also need um refined goddess blessing because three percent resistant to damage so the maximum is 30 percent at level 10 so, as I said, percentage astrals are always, always dead accurate. There is no ands, ifs, or buts. They do help you a crap ton. So then, that goes in for... Here, I can even show you guys my tune. I don't even know why I went out of that. You want to have a physical attack astral. Oh, for 50s at least. Um, we find Goddess Blessing... And hit, or no wait, that's for critical. That's irrelevant. Um, holy fortitude, uh, fortitude and a willpower, and then these other three here are um, have no purpose for you at fifty. And then these other two here, you don't worry about because you don't get those until you're level eighty. So anyway, when you hit eighty, you basically want to get cancer and. Um, Sniper's Edge, because that's a lot of critical percent, or a lot of plus in critical, and that critical helps you out so much. So that's why even other people would advise you don't do critical until you're 70 or 80, because you can actually resupply on the critical and back up your stats to raise your BR and your damage more with critical. And also blocking because blocking is very essential for when you get higher because you're going to want to be a better tank and blocking is very essential for a knight at higher level so that explains the astrals the gems and the gear and the skills so and also you always always want a set like um 
<laughs> this reminds me of fairy tale and all the dragons were invading uh Fiore. Uh anyway, um Okay, I'm trying to think. Alright, so inventory. You always want a gear set, like how I have 70s, but however, I'm missing a piece of gear. But that's completely irrelevant considering my one piece of gear gives me the plus 10 additional rage and the other two as long as you have two other parts you get the plus 1000 additional damage um so yeah there's that and i already showed you guys how to do the gear refinement however there's one thing i think i forgot to leave out with you how you get the refinement crystal is you have to go into recycle do not recycle your clothing, for if you do, you are an idiot with problems. You want to recycle the gear that you get from campaign drops or multiplayer dungeon drops. And depending on the level of the gear, it'll even tell you what the what level it'll affect certain gear. Like, level 3 refinement gems come through 60 gears from level 60 to 79. Uh, tier 1 refinement gems come from gear from level 1 to 29 and then level 2 refinement crystals come from levels 30 to 59 gear so that's pretty much how that sets up and you always want always 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 want to recycle and save up and stock up on your jams because if you don't you're just gonna screw yourself over more and that is never ever freaking ever a good thing so moving the frick on huh <sighs> and um honestly i think this might kind of cover up what you need to know about being a knight and um oh also one other thing and i've seen lots of people do this you do not go into the second skill tree which is defense now as you can see my defensive setup is kind of weird that's mainly because I can gain so much rage, and um, I'm trying to deal and protect my damage as much as possible and protect my team. So, I think I'm going to actually take out these couple, because I need to get rid of the ultimate slasher. Alright, I get rid of all that. Put in slasher. Um... My one Delphic, and then my shield. So that way I have three defensive sets and two attacks. So this pretty much is the defense setup, and you never go in a defense setup because, um, and reflect reverse damage is honestly not that good of a skill, honestly. So you never want to use reverse damage, even if. I mean, if you're going on, like, campaign and stuff and doing multiplayer dungeons, I mean, go ahead and use it. But don't ever use it when you're doing, like, team arena and stuff like that unless you are still extremely lower level and just learning how to do defensive setup. And defense setup, ideal setup is slasher, ultimate slasher, shield of aggron, block, passive... Shadow Thrasher and Reflect and Apollo Shield. So those are the um actually yeah, you just want to take out reverse damage and have it set up as like Slasher, Ultimate Slasher, Shield, Shadow Thrasher, and Apollo Shield. Because Apollo Shield at maximum increasement is it deducts 30% of damage from any 30% damage from damage you're getting from opponents, and I don't understand. And it goes on to you and your whole teammates, and it lasts for three turns, plus the QTE gives you a plus one turn to use it as, like, a bonus. Instead of, like, lasting three turns, it lasts four turns. So, defense of night is more... Holy cow, I didn't know it was even in this that long. Um... <clears throat> Defensive knight is all right unless you're with a team of people and you're not, and you're just wanting the tank for front. And let the other people do the damage. Unless you're a knight, then you just like dealing lots and lots of damage. Just steal with it. Uh, just what the frick? Why? I have no idea why I have that. 
Okay, moving on. Um, then you want to have this as your main set. Or wait, 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 wait. I just screwed myself up right there. So, yeah, we want the advanced skill because advanced death warrant deals 221% plus 1450 physical damage to a random target, which basically if it's just one person, it's like dealing, it's hitting them twice in one turn and they're losing 25% of their own health for three turns plus QTE one. So they're losing health for four turns. So anyway, that's pretty much the setup for a knight and, um, also runes. Which are hard to come across. You always want to have the rate advanced brutality. You always want to have the brutality rune. And you always want to use at least healing rune. Or one of the others. I think it's chaos and or rage. Because rage rune of course. Rage is just awesome to have. Because I always used rage rune and brutality rune on the PC. Because well it's, it, it's highly effective. So, until I can afford the money to buy the rest of these runes, I'm kind of a midget in a, stuck in a corner with no way out. So, yeah, that's a terrible example. Also, shout out to my friends Star to Sawtooth, Razortooth, and um, my friends from Asylum Guild. And um, this is something I also wanted to make known. For those of, if anyone from Asylum did watch this, and like Saw and Razor, for example, um, I just want to heavily apologize to them for saying that everyone who went to them are traitors. That was a bit out of line on my part, and I was just flustered the day I said it, and um, it wasn't right on my behalf, so I do highly apologize for that, but... It's just, I've even seen it over the years that people just choose guilds with, for power instead of just to help out and be there and help the other guy. Like, for me, for example, and people like the certain guild I was always with because they knew I would help and always assist them and so forth and so forth. And, yeah. Say hi to... So anyway, yeah, I wanted to get that off my shoulders and explain, and it really affected one of the people on here, and me and this person were talking about it earlier, and um, I really did feel like a piece of crap after the fact, and I didn't know, and plus there was some other stuff going on at the time that I had no knowledge of, so apparently there's some shady people within certain places I'm at, and shout out to Saw, you're awesome, you're a babe, remember, but I gotta admit, Razor's the hunk, if you're the babe, he's the hunk, <laughs> so uh, hopefully you both get a chuckle out of that, so anyway, this is my little tutorial video on being a knight, and um, I don't know if this helped at all, if it did help, godspeed, good luck, be an American, eat a steak. Ha ha ha. So, um. Oh. And a saw saying, do maps. If it's. It's worth it if someone is buying the orange ones and auto digging. Um, now, what maps are is pretty much you are getting these crystals that basically help you make resistant gems. These. Ones, for example, the fire, water, electro, wind, dark, and light resistant gems. So, anywho, yeah, you always want to, always, always, always want to stock up on a whole lot of crap for events. So, anyway, thank you everybody for watching this video. I hope this helped out for those who are wanting to learn how to be a knight. And also, highly recommended. Buy VIP because doing astrals and no cursing intended, but it is hell. Astrals are hell until you're level freaking VIP 5 with 
or VIP 6. Because VIP 5, you can just get the one tap and astral. It sends up a whole list of blue and greens and sometimes purples or an orange or red on occasions. And, but VIP 6 pretty much um, gets you every all the astrals at one and they all get sucked into one astral. Do an exchange, it takes up a certain amount of gold, etc., etc., etc. And, but no one seems to want it, which makes so. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, that pretty much explains it. So, and also, to make resistant gems, you must be level 55, but I don't know if that's even really relevant to this video, but I'm just showing you guys. You go into crystals here, you either have a chance to make will crystals or resistant crystals. So, that's basically what you want to get when you do maps. So, maps pretty much gives you experience to, for your tune, and also crystals to make resistance resistant ones. I don't honestly remember what my resistant crystals are, but we're going to take a look at them. Well, I got, I'm pretty much a fire god and a fire immune, kind of, sort of, not really. Uh, solid fire gems because fire element is used a lot, and I got five, six, and three will level crystal gems. So I need to work on those when I'm able to so, um, yeah. And I don't think I did my fate. Also, when you're level 55, you unlock the fate system. You want to do fate so it also increases your attack by 100, max health by 1,000, and increases your piercing percentage to deal more damage to the other person. And the, um... <laughs> Bless me. Um... And pretty much gives you 300 or yeah, 100 extra attack, a thousand extra health, and influence. And influence, I think, is more piercing to deal more damage to people. So anyway, who's that? So yeah. Anyway, okay, I've said this like a thousand times already. So, thank you for watching. This has been a very special video brought to you by Hidden Angel Lionheart, a.k.a. Sephra Purifier from Server 91, a Wartoon Hall of Heroes for mobile, tablet, and all iOS devices. And shout out to Upsold, even though I have no idea who this dude is. And also shout out to Snow, because she's also a babe. And then also, I think this might be Karn on Nico. So, um. So, technically, him and I and one other, other guy technically own this tune now because the other person, like, kind of quit, I guess. Which did kind of make me mad. So, um. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully, this video helped you guys out somewhat. I hope. Possibly. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> So, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts. Did I do good? Did I suck? Did I just do absolutely whatsoever? Eh. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. And, um, stay tuned for the tutorial video on mages. That will be next. Later.